Hi, this is Ian Troy, and we're inside the pro shop of Fit NHB with my very special guest, Monica Lovato. Monica, thank you for taking the time. Thank you. Now, you've got a fight coming up June 4th at Buffalo Thunder Casino. Uh, do you know anything about your opponent? I don't. And how do you feel about that? I feel fine. I feel great. Mm -hmm. I know what I have to do. I've been training a lot, a lot, a lot. So. so you train more for the fight than the fighter? Yes. How many times have you fought for the King of the Cage organization? Uh, about four, I believe. This will be like my fourth, my fourth fight with King of the Cage. And um, actually, you know what? I'm so excited to be fighting at Buffalo Thunder, um, mainly because I've been fighting for close to ten years, six years professional, and um, this is the first fight professional that's going to be closest to home for me. Wow. And so a lot of my boxing fans, a lot of my family and friends that haven't even seen me fight MMA will have the opportunity to see me at Buffalo Thunder June 4th. That's exciting. And it, it's really exciting for me. So I have definitely stepped it up and um, took my training to the next level. You know, I graduated massage school in February. And I, I took some time off. Um, I lost my last MMA fight in November. I hadn't really trained for it. I was already in school, and I took it. I shouldn't have taken the fight. Girl's a great fighter. Don't get me wrong. That's not, you know, she, she she's awesome. I want to rematch, by the way, Barb Hancock or Hancock or whatever you are. I want to rematch with you, with me in shape and ready to fight. And I think it'll be a different story. But anyhow, after my after gra after uh, graduating from massage school. I um, told Arlene, my coach, that, you know, I, I was ready to train. And I have totally taken this fight 110% seriously. I am focused. I am focused, focused just the way I was in 2007 when I was fighting for my world title fight in boxing. And um, I hired a strength conditioning personal trainer. I have to thank who's taken me to another level, uh, Jessica Rinaldi at uh, Define Finish freaking awesome if you want to get in shape and go to the next level definitely hire her um arlene and i have been working with the muay thai uh i've had Berto nader and a lot of my other teammates have to help me with my grappling and with my jujitsu um you know i have like so many people to thank for this training because i have definitely stepped it up and i've trained like two to three times a day or more and have just tried to learn everything that I can with the amount of time. And you know, Tom and Arlene have been great to me. Um, I, I went back to my boxing coach for many years, Mr. Al Lovato, and now his son, Robbie Lovato. And I work with them three days a week as much as possible. And it, it, it's been it's been an adventure. It's so been a lot of hard work, a lot of training. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm really getting the feeling that you're training, you know, for the, for the long term, not for the short term. Would you say that, you know, you have a goal of of being tip-top fighting shape for the next couple of years and make it a big push? Um, I definitely have a goal, but I can't tell you the next couple of years. I'm 32 years old and um, I'm, um, I'm I'm pretty pretty close to getting into that step of I want to start the next step of my life and the next chapter of my life. And um, so I don't want to give you any, I'm retiring soon, but you know, that is that is in my thoughts and my mind. I have other things and other goals in life that I want to accomplish and that I want to do. And so, you know, to fighting to to do it the best and to do it right, it takes up a lot of time and a lot of effort. And I've been doing it for many years. And you know, I'm I'm at the tip. So when I go out, I'm going to go out with a bang. Well, and and you know. I've been thinking that women's MMA, it's, it's very important, and I would say that the next echelon would be, you know, women's MMA, and that the next uh, uh, promotion that incorporates women's MMA and starts, you know, promoting it and giving belts and, and having champions is really going to excel to the next level. And now, what if King of the Cage started incorporating women's belts? Would that maybe change your outlook? Um... No. You know, I've, I've, I've lived my dreams. I've made my goals come true. I've made many dreams come true. And it's always like that for me. It's always, 
you're almost there, you're almost there. And yes, MMA is picking up ridiculously. And maybe if I was 21 years old, it'd be a different story. But I'm not 21 years old, I'm 32. You know, and, and like I said, it doesn't... I, I honestly, 90%, I don't think it really matters what comes towards me. I, I know what I need to do, and I know what I want to do, and I know what my goals and my dreams are. And, and like I said, I'm, you know... <laughs> Watch me while you can because it's not going to last long. And I and I tell you, I give 110%. And when I fight, I will have the people standing on the feet. Okay, you will love my fights because I always, for some reason, make it exciting. I get my ass to the floor and start getting beat, and then I beat them up and blah, blah, blah. So it is awesome. But you know what? It's, it's a short period of time. So enjoy it while I last. I, I'm re- I can really tell that you're only doing it because you love it, that you wouldn't still be doing it if you didn't love it. Exactly. Very good. Monica, I really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, that fight, June 4th, Buffalo Thunder Casino. Is there anybody you want to say thank you to or send any shout-outs to? You know, I definitely have to, like I said, I have a huge amount of team that I have to thank for getting me this far because without them, it wouldn't be possible. And I think I've named most of you. And, you know, definitely like to thank my sponsors, to help me so I'm able to train and not have to work so much although I'm still working <laughs> but I have to thank my sponsors you know um, uh, TDs TDs off of Eubank I have to thank um, Mike and Roger very very much thanks for all your help love you guys I like to thank uh, Sadie's I have to thank um, Authorized Carpet and Tile Cleaning I gotta thank Heavy Hands um, gosh am I missing a couple um Sorry, bear with me. Sun Bear Chiropractic. If it weren't for Dr. Doggett, I mean, I probably wouldn't be fighting right now because he saved, has saved me from so many injuries and has kept me going and is also one of my sponsors. So I just like to thank everybody, everybody that's been out there and everybody that's helped me get to where I'm at right now today.